sole control of first place is on the line in the Western Big Six as the Rock Island Rocks and Galesburg Silver Streaks put up matching 3-0 league marks. But both teams know there's a grander prize up for grabs next month. Back and forth they go in a high energy atmosphere. Galesburg's Grant Gibson is a scoring machine. He hits the corner three for a one point lead. Gibson again dominating. Plus one in the streaks lead 16 to 12 through the opening quarter. Lots of action in the second quarter of play. Rockies. Keenan Shorter hesitates, then does not hesitate to go to the rim, and it's all tied up. But Gibson continues with a hot hand as he can score at will. The Rocks keep counterpunching, though. D'Angelo Hicks from downtown. The Rocks are on top 20 to 18. Rocks rolling again. CJ Carr ahead to Trey Sigel. He lays in two of his 12 points with that pretty layup, but Gibson still has the touch the jumper and one as his point total continues to grow gibson from beyond the arc and the streaks are on top 26 to 24. gibson can score from all over the place he had five old-fashioned three-point play opportunities in the opening half on his way to 26 points in the first 16 minutes of play the rocks led by one at intermission and take ownership in the third quarter of play big time an amazing quarter shorter is longer with that basket it's 38 36 rocks Carr with the outstanding assist to Hicks and the Rocky lead swells to six points later Carr drives draws the defenders over to Hicks and the lead is now double digits the rocks pulling away Sigel rattles in the triple right there as he has another big night car behind the back in transition to Sigel. the lead is 53 to 36 the rocks hold the ball for the final 115 of the quarter and car beats the buzzer as the rocks outscore the streaks 21 to 2 in that third period and they finish the deal in style in the fourth car gets style points with two of his 19 and the rocks take it 69 to 41 now alone on top of the western big six at 4-0 we really took pride in defense. Uh, I credit Grant Gibson for, for doing the things he did the first half, and, but we really just wanted to buckle down and get the job done. He really wasn't getting shots off either. I mean, what was the difference in that third quarter defending one? Uh, just the guys that were on him. It's just, I credit them. Like I told them when we were in the game, they were doing a great job. Uh, first half, they kind of let down the guard, and you see what happened. But second half, they really buckled down and took pride. It seemed like, I mean, uh, uh, the basket seemed big, and the floor seemed like you, you were seeing it in a, in a great way tonight, too, distributing the ball. Yeah, um, I, credit my, I credit our guys for spacing the floor, and whenever I pass it, them finishing. So it was just a great team win. Obviously, you guys are alone in first right now, but there's a lot of basketball left. I mean, talk about that, uh, the mentality of the team as you hit into the stretch drive of the season now. Uh, we just want to keep chasing our goals. It's, this wasn't just a, a, a big game. It was, it was a big game, but we just want to keep on rolling and get the job done. Well, it was just a good team defensive win. We just kept sliding over. We had a lot of charges. We just got them out of their rhythm, and we played hard. You guys showed a lot of poise in the first half because I don't know how many lead changes there were, but talk about that part, the maturity level you guys have, not to panic. Yeah, we, we knew we had a we had a good game coming for us. We had to play a team win. We had to keep our heads in there, but also pick each other up when the times got rough. So it was just a good team win. We've had times this year where a team starts to make a run, and we make it into a bigger run by getting out of what we want to do. And, and we stuck with you know what we want to do, move the ball. We were scoring, and um, you know uh, we thought that maybe we had a little more depth, and and maybe um, that would pay off for us in the second half. Mm -hmm. How affirming is it? How well your team can play? You know, you've had you've had some ups and downs. Like well, I think that we, that we continue to strive um, to get better. Uh, you know, it wasn't a perfect night as, as we showed in the first half, but you know, we've played pretty good basketball a lot this year. We just it hasn't been enough, um, as the record shows. But uh, we've played some pretty good teams, and and really, we want to keep trying to get better. First place, but I know long way to go, right? Yeah, long way to go. Um, the big thing is, you know, it's not so much the record. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to, yeah, okay, we gave them a loss, but we had to defend our home court, and I think that uh, they kind of felt like the pressure was on us um, to make sure we won at home, and uh, probably right, so we responded in a big way. We're, ha we're proud of the guys. Hey, if you're looking for more great videos on local coaches and athletes, or for more information on Fellowship of Christian Athletes, check out our two websites at www.fca.org or illowafca.org.